Welcome back everyone to another episode here at Discovering Minecraft and we are going to work on this guardian farm. I've already started to lay out a, a little foundation. We now have the base done. We are now going to go ahead and go up to Y 178 here. And I need to put on this. So we're going to go ahead and build this up. Y 178. Wow. Look at that gorgeous sunrise. I did use glass on some of the blocks on this little pillar going up so that when it's all over with, we should be able to see our guardian shooting up. Next, we need to build out a platform. The dirt is currently just a temporary block, but we're gonna make a little two by five platform. And then we need to lay down a five scaffolding back here in this back corner and then build out another platform two by four. All right, that's all done. So now we need to continue building up our main tower, Y level 193. All right, so we are now at 193, so we're gonna go ahead and go back down to our little platform right here. Ooh, ouch. And we're gonna go ahead and set up our chest here with some hoppers. Oops. Uh, see, I keep using the shift key because I don't wanna fall off. If you guys are enjoying this week's episode, please be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot with YouTube. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. More hoppers right there. All right. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and go up. Ooh. Ooh. Here. All right. We're going to put two more hoppers here. And then what we're going to do is build ourselves out a little platform so that we have some room to work. So we're going to go over here. And I'm going to do three on the other side too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put in a rail right here. Along with a minecart with a hopper in it right there. And we gotta come over here and we gotta break out that rail.
Okay, did it. All right, now we're gonna put in a temporary block right here and one of our glasses right here. Another temporary block right there. Our little piston right there. A little piece of redstone and that locks it all in. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing oh, on the other side, except I just lost my piston. All right, need to go down and get it. Hey, I got them both in. So now what we can do is go ahead and get rid of all of this temporary scaffolding. And I can probably get my ladder back up there. I can get up and down. Yeah, it's sticking out just a little bit. Okay. We need to go ahead now and do the next chamber. Or the killing chamber to put the lava in. So our little killing chamber is going to be three long, three high. And then we're going to go ahead and close it off. We're going to skip this one and close off the top. Then we're going to go ahead and take our trap doors. I'm going to put a trap door here, a trap door here. And a trap door on the... There we go. Now they all open. Oops, wrong way. Gotta open up the other way. This way. Yeah, like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, well, I forgot to hit the uh, play button to record. So what we have done here is we went on ahead and went straight up here built a little chamber all the way to the very top, put in two signs, let's see, I can go back down, Ugh. put in two signs right there on the first level, and then went on all the way up and then put a sign right there on the second from the top, uh, both on this side. Sorry about that, everyone. Not getting that recorded. I think you guys can probably see what I did though. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and remove four of these. Put down a temporary floor right here. And place our water right here so that our water flows that way. Perfect. And now as you can see, it stops, the sign stops it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our lava right underneath that sign. Perfect. Okay. So our, our, and our uh, guardians will come up here, hit this water flow, be pushed right into that lava. We can go ahead now and remove this temporary flooring. Perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and close it all off. <gasps> oh no! I am going to die! <laughs> oh no, that was terrible! All right, I need a boat. Oh wow, I fell right off of that. Woo! Uh, no, I need a spruce. There you go, and a boat, please. Oh gosh, I hope I don't lose anything. Oh no. I don't even remember if I got everything cut off. Look at all of the ink sacks out here. There's so many ink sacks and my guardians just keep jumping into my boats. All right, hopefully I got everything back. See a fish down there. Make sure I got my armor. Oh, I'm missing my chest plate and my helmet. It's not good.
Oh no. Okay, well, what we will do here is take a water breathing potion and an invisibility potion. Visibility, there's it. Visibility, there it is. And we're gonna have to go down. Oh, here's some stuff. There's some stuff down here, too. Okay. No. Okay. While we're under here, we might as well look around. And you know what? We're also gonna have to clean this all off, too. So, while we've got the potion, we might as well go ahead and clean it off. See if I got... Oh, there's my chest plate. I do not see my helmet. How? Hmm. I do not see my helmet anywhere. It was a good helmet, too. I just said put respiration on it. Ah. I do not see it anywhere. Okay, let's jump into the boat. Jump out. Get in here again. Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, got everything back. Uh, bow and arrow. Okay, I got everything. Perfect. Hey, I got the whole top end all closed off. And now our next job here is to go ahead and go in here and get kelp all along here so that we make these all solid water. Hey, so I have got everything all cleaned up. I cleaned up all my stuff, moved it all up there, put a portal in up on that landing also so that we have direct access because once we get this thing built, it's not going to be a pretty to get in through this way. So we're going to go ahead and put in visibility, water breathing, and night vision. We're going to go ahead and drink all those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down below. We're going to put soul sand all underneath this platform. Oh, and one of the things I forgot to do is we've got to take all this right here down. I have no armor on. I did not bring my silk touch. So we're just going to have to get the fragments. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go fill this whole thing in with the soul sand, and I will be back with you guys as soon as that's all done. We've got all that work in there. Uh -huh, we've even got some guardians trying to get up through there. Next, we need to go ahead and put our water in. And I have a water bucket. I can go ahead and put all my armor back on now because I don't need to be invisible anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our water here in each one of these corners. And 
then we are going to go ahead and go out two blocks. One, two. So we'll put the third one there. And then we will put in it. So one, two, three, one, two. There we go. All along here. There we go. Make this all nice and pretty. Oh, we've got one over even up here. And then the last thing we need to do, we need to collect this little box right here. Collect that box. And then we need to go ahead and get rid of this temporary floor. This is not going to be fun. Hey, I have enclosed all of this in up here. Got our nice little portal right here. And then up here on the killing chamber area, there's one more thing we need to do, and that's put some water in right there. All right. So now all I need to do is go down below and get rid of all of that dirt down there on the main level. Quite a bit of it done, but there's still quite a bit of dirt down there. Um, so I'm gonna take a couple potions, empty out my hands, and I'm gonna go down there and finish getting all that taken care of and I'll meet you guys back up here. All right. They're starting to shoot up here, so let's go ahead and get up here and see how this all works. That is where I put the water at, so what we need to do is get in here. No, 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 not like that. Um, I think I need to get in here all this way. Do that. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at how many there are. And they're not really giving me a lot of hurt here. Either that or else I'm just healing fast. Not bad. Alright, let's take a look here. Everything is healed. Oh my gosh, look at all that. And I got 11 experience points. Okay, well, I am going to go ahead and just I'll play here for a half an hour. And I will let you guys see all the loot I get in a half an hour. Hey, we're right a couple minutes out for it being 30 minutes. And I've been watching this quite a bit. We lose probably about a third of them because they get all trapped up in there. So I'm wondering if dropping that lava just a little bit would uh, get some of that other will get us a few more um, things but overall this thing it just cranks out the experience look at I'm at 46 levels of experience all of my tools have been repaired I probably had all of my tools repaired in the first five ten minutes of this whole thing and I want to go ahead here and gotta eat I want to go ahead and cut this off real quick right here and right there. Stop it for just a minute. And I wanted to show you one other thing that you can do here with this. Go ahead and you can pick up this water. And then right down here, you can go ahead and lay in some campfires. Right there. Right there. And then go ahead and get rid of those two blocks. And it becomes an AFK just uh, for the products. So that also... Oh, I did not get that out, out of there. There we go. And then we'll just be able to go ahead and get the products out of it. So let's go downstairs. Let's see how much we got. That is how much we got in half an hour. I think this is a great farm. It is so much better than anyone that I have ever made before. This design was made by Shulkercraft. So I will go ahead and put a link in the description for this design. I did find a few little errors um, down where the water source was. Um, you got to be really careful and making sure that there's a water source in all the areas. 
um, going up that middle chamber. Because it took me, I had to go down there. It was a total nightmare. Um, <laughs> yeah. I just went down there with invisibility, and it was so hard to work with because there was, you know, all those bubbles are coming up and everything. I'm going to go ahead tonight and just AFK with the little fireplaces all night long. Just going to let this thing run, and then we will see how many we get at the end of uh, 12 hours, probably. 8 hours. 8 to 12 hours of um, just letting it run. We'll see you guys all back then. All right, so it has been right around 12 hours. I need to go ahead and turn this off. Get out of my way. Oh no. We got it all turned off now. Perfect. Oh, I thought I did. Okay, got it all turned off. So I'll just die there in the lava and look at I may have came. It's about 12 hours. It came. And this is how much we got. Whoa. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. Is it back up nothing? Okay. A little bit back up. Oh, a lot backing up. That could cause a lot of problems. I am going to have to get this all sorted out. Get them all put into blocks. I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode. The fun this was doing. And it is so nice to have a place where we can go ahead and get experience. Prepare all of our tools. And get everything done. You guys all take it easy. I will see you back next week.